Good morning, afternoon, or evening. This is Mateo360 here with... Parochial Jim. And we're on our last ranger level, so we're using Jason. All right. He's the ex-leader. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the white ranger came in and stole all his thunder. Yeah, I do wonder if that's part of the reason why Austin St. John left if uh, the fact he got downgraded from being leader to just random guy who's on the same level as him. Yeah, because everybody had their own specialties, even if it was as bad as just being the Asian one, but he kind of lost his. Yeah, he was just the, hey, I'm a clone! Yeah, he, he was the guy that liked to, uh, he was the guy who liked to pick fights and be jealous of the real leader who was special. They start I mean, who can't be jealous over the dagger flute. Yeah. They've started populating these levels with a lot more, uh, combo putties. <laughs> yeah, you haven't even gone through very many screens, and you've already killed off a ton of them already. But got... It's also kind of hard to tell how many screens you've gone through, seeing as how they all look exactly the same. I think it's only been three. We've got sword putties and more turkey! They give you that health really, really early on. They normally don't even give you any. Yeah, it'd be nice if the putties actually dropped health pickups occasionally. <laughs> then you'd just be eating clay. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I hate all these hills in here. They make it harder to hit the putties on the slightly off angle. Yeah, it makes the fights look a little odd, where you're just punching the putties in their knees to death. Mm -hmm. I could have sworn that I've seen this screen before in this level. Yeah, it will change soon, as soon as they introduce the monster. Which is actually now! Timing. This is the Dark Warrior! I do not remember this guy at all. He showed up pretty late in the series. <laughs> like a camo commander. Yeah, he's supposed to be a ninja. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, a ninja with camo. Ninja from Vietnam, maybe. And now? <laughs> a different cave! Oh, sweet. Oh, here we go. Now, now we're getting some. And the return of the barrels. <laughs> At least they're a lot easier to jump over. Somewhat. Here's an idea. Let's throw barrels at him. Yeah, it's, it's funny. I thought I killed all the putties at the top. Who's throwing those? <laughs> <laughs> uh, they, they just... They do what they do. Barrels are gonna roll downstairs no matter where you go. stairs make the fighting a bit harder. Yeah, just knocking them off screen all the time. Aww. Oh, their weapons turn against them. <laughs> yes. Errol, the most deadly weapon in Power Rangers. Apparently. Screw using a sword when you can use a barrel. And they explode, even. Well... With how even doors explode, I'm <laughs> yeah. not too surprised. Everything is explodable. So where are you even supposed to be going to in this game? I have no idea, but just wait till it the screen changes again. <laughs> it gets even more confusing. Yeah, so... I think we've I went from a cave to a mine. Yeah, we've we've been from like the city to a hotel, underground mine, and putties with guns again. You'd think more would happen. You'd think, but well, in more recent Power Rangers, there's any kind of bullet they added into some kind of laser. Can't show bullets in TV shows nowadays. No, there's even one. Uh, 
SPD, some guy shot bullets at the Six Ranger. He caught them all with a hyperspeed hand catch. And when they had him drop them, they were all just glowing balls instead of, like, squished bullets. <laughs> Future bullets. Yes. <laughs> Gotta love I like how that one panel is just missing in the back. Look, now we're in the lap. Uh. Yeah, it makes no sense uh, whatsoever. Yeah. <laughs> I guess one Rita's base was on the moon or something. But... Uh, well, the uh, episode The Dark Warrior showed up in, I, if I remember right, this is where Trini's uncle showed up and he was a scientist, <laughs> but and he, the Dark Warrior trapped Trini's uncle in the cave, which kind of makes sense in contact text, but there was no uh, lab in that cave. So these, these levels are partially based on the villains that they're made for, or is this just... I don't know, I think this game was made even before that episode aired. <laughs> I have no idea. I have to actually go look that up. So these, uh, these little lasers that they're setting up, not all that effective when they go down faster than a putty. No, I think those are storage lasers, because they have cloths covering them. Kind of, it kind of looked like uh, one of those yield timey cameras where the people had to put their heads under the cloths. <laughs> so yeah. Kill it with a sword. I'm like, what are you doing? Giant laser. I think we found this game's theme. At least this level's theme. Yep. Luckily, that laser hurts the putties just as much as they'd hurt me. Sounds like it hits them multiple times when you get hit by it, too. Yeah. They last longer than their, in their invincibility frames. Here's where you can really see it in action. <laughs> you have to destroy it. Buddies, to go they have no crouch button. And it looks like a giant mood ring. That laser that's above this door is really annoying. You can't really hit it that easily. Though it doesn't really cause much problems either. Yeah, it didn't really seem to be aiming a whole lot. Scientists just decided it was better to make a make a laser that randomly shot in the room. <laughs> no need for target identification. Dark Warrior fight's annoying. He jumps around everywhere. But not as bad as... or actually, no, worse than Bones. And then teleports away. It's almost like he's a ninja. <laughs> and he likes to drop bombs on you, too. Oops. Seems like a pretty easy uh, moveset to telegraph. <laughs> Guess well, I never really learned it. <laughs> That keeps happening. <laughs> Maybe it gets harder later on. His side hopes. So. Well, he'll pull out a second weapon eventually. Spoilers. <laughs> Vietnam camo ninja in, like, an underground laboratory. I have no idea. Jason just says, screw this, I gotta bomb my own. Now you can see he has one of those throwing side things on the end of the chain. I know I'm going to get flack for not knowing its name. Yeah, since joining something awful, I found it was just better to be very vague about weapon names, because you'll always be wrong. All I can remember was it was used in Inuyasha at one point. Also used in the 
Oh yeah, I guess it is. Yeah, see, I never learned how to dodge the bomb. I just stand there <laughs> like an idiot. <laughs> but that doesn't really matter. Nope. <laughs> I like how his finishing poses, he just flexes. Yep. Yep, no more rangers. <laughs>